stuff when they think of museums, right? You're a dinosaur curator, you work in museums. So how does this elegant creature on the left stack up against the dinosaur? They're the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurs were ferocious, at least some of them. But I maintain that the bumblebee robber fly has ferocity taken care of just like any dinosaur. These things cruise around gardens like the nature garden at the museum or the gardens here and they attack in mid-flight wasps and bees. That's their prey. And they grab them, they jab their mouth parts in them and they inject them not only with digestive enzymes but with actual venom that they have venom glands in their head so they can just stop those bees and wasps cold. And then they suck out their internal contents like a milkshake. <laughs> These things are the size of dogs. We'd never go outside. Believe me. <laughs> Some dinosaurs were spiky. We have spiky taken care of in the flies. This is one of my flies that lives in the nest of ants in Southeast Asia. It uses those big spines to repel ants when they try to attack. Dinosaurs were of varied size and structure, which is interesting. You got Stegosaurus, you got Brachiosaurus, and so on. But we have nothing here that compares with the hammerhead fly of Central and South America. You can see the eyes are on the tips of those hugely prolonged head extremities. We also have the antler flies, which just like deer, use their antlers to joust and to defend territories for impressive females. This is the weirdest <laughs> fly in the world. This is again one of the flies I work on. This is an adult female fly that looks just like the larva of an ant in which in whose colony these flies live with a, a fly's head rooted on it. It's like some prank that somebody did to confuse students. But these things which have no legs no wings are carried around by the ants and fed just like their larvae. Huh. So <coughs> some flies are extremely beautiful, like this uh, blowfly from Australia. So they're not all just gray and dingy looking things. Of course, the eyes of horse flies are famously beautiful. Maybe not so beautiful when they're biting you. And I can go on and on about how beautiful flies are and how wonderful they are, and I frequently do. <laughs> but there's one thing that they don't have. Someone already pointed that out, size. Dinosaurs have the size taken care of. This is the biggest fly in the 